Harris, Future Prophecy, Part 3. Disc 2. And Disc 2 is the final disc in Paris Prophecy 3. This 2 covers dreams and intuition stories from letter B to letter W. This is Section 6, Letter B. There are two dreams in this piece that begins with the letter B. There's one dream about black women, and there's one dream about a black man. The first number in this piece is the number one. This piece is called Section 6, One Black Woman Dream, or S61BKWD. In the month of September 3rd, 2009, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. I was with my wife Karen somewhere, and it felt like to me that Karen and I were involved in some type of special occasion. And we enter inside a little hotel, or this facility might have been a motel. We gone into a hotel room, that I began to notice how big our hotel room was. We were on the second floor, and I'd gone to a window inside our hotel room, and I looked out the window. I immediately noticed a good amount of black women outside this hotel building. Next thing I dreamt about was that now I was in the lobby of this building, and then I focused my eyes upon a light-skinned black woman who walked into the lobby of this building. She then sat down in one of the seats inside the lobby. Then I sensed that she was looking for her husband or her brother. In general, I sensed I, she was looking for a particular black man. Then I decided to return to my room, so I entered the hotel's elevator. And then other people, mostly women, came into this elevator with me. This elevator was taken to the 17th floor, and then the elevator had finally taken me to the second floor. And then I woke up from this dream. The next and last number in this piece is the number two. This piece is called Section 6, One Black Man Dream, or s 6 1 BKMD. In the month of September 16, 2009, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. I dreamt that I was outside and it was daytime. I felt as if I was in another city other than New York. I seen projects of public housing buildings around me and I also noticed people stood beside me. The people and I were in some type of park. Then suddenly I heard gunshots being fired around a corner of a building which was not too far away from me. Then I beheld a thin, tall black man emerge from around the corner of this particular building, and I noticed this person held a handgun in his hand. And the person who held the handgun shouted, everyone must go to a work camp to work off their debts. Next I noticed that some of the people around me were being shot at. Then every person around me began to run. Panic was now everywhere. Before I left this dream, I noticed that there was no real safe place for the people to hide from the gunman. Then I woke up. The next letter in this section is the letter C. This is section 6, letter C. There's one dream in this piece that begins with the letter C. This dream is about a coup or taking over of America. The first number in this piece is the number 1. This piece is called section 6, one coup dream or S6, one CRD. In the month of August 15, 2009, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. I dreamt that I was in the streets, and I seen a white man, then I noticed a white construction worker, and also seen a white security guard. Then I picked up that these white individuals I noticed were synchronized somehow. Then suddenly, these men I noticed began to shoot at a crowd of people around me. Then the men with the guns had reloaded their machine guns. Then a voice told me a coup was taking place. <coughs> Next I noticed people were running into every direction. And in every direction people ran into, bullets were followed behind them. Then the next thing I recall inside this dream was that it was daytime. And that the people around me wore no jackets. I think it was a spring evening. Now I found myself inside a tall hotel and I was inside this hotel lobby and that I sat alone at the end of a long white folding table. As I sat at the end of this white table, I began to realize that I was not alone at this table. But now I've seen a great deal of elderly looking white women seated around the table with me. The 
one of the elderly women at the table said to me, Harish, sit here. Then I got up from the end of the table and I walked toward the old white lady who had called for me. I sat beside this particular woman. Now another old white woman came and sat beside me. Now I was now I was now seated between two white women. After I made myself comfortable at this table, my eyes looked up and my eyes looked at this hotel window, which was in the lobby. And then my focus fell upon a fire escape, which was outside of this hotel I found myself in. After I spotted the fire escape outside this hotel lobby, my eyes then focused upon, my eyes just focused back into the lobby because a middle-aged black woman had just entered into the lobby of this particular hotel. This middle-aged black woman wore a meek coat. This woman with the meek stood motionless inside the lobby while the white elderly woman and I were still at the folding table. Next, I noticed the elderly woman at the table with me began to eat their breakfast. The individual at the table with me was not aware what was going on outside. Outside where I seen white men with guns shooting at people early inside this dream. And this black woman quietly walked towards the hotel lobby's elevator banks. And then I sensed that she was pretending to look for someone. Then I further sensed that this woman knew what was going on outside of this hotel. Then I witnessed black men with guns approaching the hotel I was in. These black men looked like bad, sweet people. These black men came inside the lobby. Then the woman with the mink spotted the black men walking into the lobby, and then she had ran into the hotel's basement. In addition, I also, got, uh, also detected about the middle-aged woman was that at first she thought about going up to the floors of this hotel, but she had changed her mind because she figured out she might get caught upstairs. So then she decided to take her chances in the hotel's basement, which was somehow connected to a sewing system. Then she got into the basement, and then the black men followed her into the basement. Then I noticed that the black individuals were three in number. One of the three men was tall, the other was chubby, and the third was short. These individuals held clubs and guns in their hands. Then I beheld the black woman who wore the meat coat try to enter the subway. There were people inside the subway system. These people inside the subway stood on the subway platform, and they intensely watched the lady with the meat trying to gain access into the subway system without paying a subway fare. The people I seen on the platform were in spring or summer attire. Then I observed the tall and chubby person hit someone inside the hotel basement with their clubs. These two had clubbed to death a person. Then these murderous thugs had now focused their gaze upon a tall, thin black security guard who was also inside the basement with them. The security guard had his back up against a wall. The guard was speechless and there was fear in his eyes. The three individuals had now approached the officer, but before I left this unsettling dream, I also sensed these individuals were some kind of foot soldiers for the power to be, then I woke up. The next letter in this section is the letter E. This is section six, letter E. There's one dream in this piece that begins with the letter E. There's one dream about the Empire State Building. First number in this piece is the number one, 